Good morning, you guys. It is um, 6.20. I'm getting ready to go to the operating room. We have cases today in surgery all day, and so I'm gonna make breakfast, and I wanted to share with you this breakfast that I'm gonna make. It's a cereal bowl with um, basically just like fruits and nuts and seeds. It's one of my favorite things to make for breakfast, and so I wanted to share it with you. So the first thing you have to have in your cereal bowl is an apple, and so I'm gonna cut up my apple, and the trick is to cut the apple to tiny, tiny pieces. And so, we'll cut the core out of the apple. You want the apple in like little bite-sized type pieces because this is gonna be the like cereal. And so the apple is the main component of the cereal. I'm not the type's gotta have someone. I'm not the There's the apple. Had a lot of people come and go, and plus anyway, I'm used to being so low. But it's good when you can. Now you can add in whatever you like. So I'm gonna add in a few chia seeds, hemp seeds, a good protein, some cashews, maybe a few more, some walnuts. <laughs> Cinnamon, tons of cinnamon. And then I top it with um, almond milk. You could use any milk-based product that you like. Um, you can also, I used to make like a protein powder milk, just like a little shake, and then top it with protein powder milk blend. Um, but I feel like that's, I don't need that much. I'm not working out that hard at the moment. But if you're working out hard in the gym and you need a little extra protein, um, then you could add some protein powder to it as well. But I'm just going to do the almond milk. Almost every day, life can't be better as long as we stay together. Come, come sit down. Let's celebrate this. Everybody, it is Wednesday. I am here at my desk. Actually, was out pretty early this morning. I went to a plastic surgery lecture. It was a visiting professorship at NYU this morning, and it was great. It was actually on neck lift techniques, which I'm an oculoplastic surgery fellow, so I focus on the face and around the eyes, so I don't know anything about the neck. Um, and so it was very interesting to kind of get that anatomy refresher back from medical school and maybe intern year about all the different muscles and vasculature and uh, neurologic structures in the neck and then different surgical techniques for neck rejuvenation which was actually really interesting i'm very glad that i went and so now i'm back at home just for a little bit um sometimes when i'm out i'll just go to a coffee shop or something like that but often i find that it's easier to just come back home because my internet here is so much faster than any coffee shop or anything like that so i'm back at home i have two things that i'm going to do right now and um they're things that I've mentioned before in a previous vlog that I was working on and they're almost to completion. So first is that I have a Grand Rounds presentation tomorrow and so I'm gonna practice that presentation. I like to practice um, with a timer to make sure that I'm on time. One of my biggest tips for giving a public speaking presentation is to make sure you're within your time range. You never, ever, ever wanna go over your allotted time. That's just a huge faux pas, so if you can try to stay under. And then one of my mentors, Dr. George Bartley, who's an amazing orator, basically orator, 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 orator. Anyways, uh, basically told me that no one will ever be mad at you for going under your time. So if you can give a public, if you do give a speech or a presentation in public and you're five or 10 minutes early, then no one's gonna be mad about that. And it gives time for questions and things. So anyways, I just like to have my presentation very rehearsed so that I don't stumble or lose my train of thought or say um or anything like that. You wanna know, you wanna be able to talk about each slide in and of itself without looking at the slide or having to be prompted. And then you also wanna know the order of slides. So you wanna be able to almost say your presentation just by heart without having to look at your slides. You know what's coming up next. You can anticipate what you need to talk about next. Overall, I think it just makes you sound much more polished and lends to a good presentation. So I'm gonna practice my Grand Rounds presentation right now and make sure that I have all the slides that I need and there's nothing that I wanna add or things like that. And then I'll rehearse it a few more times and then I'll probably be good until tomorrow and I'll practice it again tomorrow right before I do it. And then the other thing I need to work on 
is this big project on the history of decompression surgery for thyroid eye disease that I had been working on and we actually already submitted that paper. It ended up being like 15 pages. It was a big piece of work and um, I really love it. I'm quite proud of it, but we need to structure just a short little abstract, like a 250 word abstract. And so I'm gonna quickly do that. That shouldn't take any time at all. So I'm gonna practice my grand rounds, do that abstract, and then I will come back to you. Break this love, baby, why don't we go? Cause we know, we know this is real. This is real. I'm about to let Everybody's you know. I gotta let you know that. Andrea's always in here working hard and she kicks us out because we bug her. So I have to keep Finn out of the out of the office. Yeah, we is Kyle and Finn again. Go break come. Say hi with him. Family photo. Oh, my baby. <laughs> hi, baby. <laughs> hi, Finn. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Saving our money, we saving our money. Yeah. We've been eating ice cream and cake. We're going through life like it's our. Hi, you guys. I'm in bed and so happy to be cozy in bed and I'm gonna read a little bit before bed I know I mentioned I think it's really important to read before bed I think it's just really good for your mental health it's good for your stress and just kind of like leaving the day behind you and it's a really nice routine that Kyle and I like to do before bed and I didn't read so much in residency because I felt like I had to be studying or like I couldn't be reading but you inevitably spend like 10 minutes scrolling um, on Instagram or something before bed anyways so just my advice would be to just like no matter what just read like even a page right now I'm reading um, David Sedaris's book Calypso it's freaking hilarious and I'm like laughing out loud in bed and driving Kyle crazy because I'm laughing so loud um, but then I also have this little book light that we got on Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys because I th think I posted it on my Instagram stories and like several of you asked about it. So um, that's the drill. I hope you guys have a great night. Good morning, you guys. It is Monday morning. I'm getting ready for a full day of surgery. And we also have a neuroradiology conference. And then I have a conference call and some research stuff and work stuff um, besides just normal patient care and surgery. So it's going to be a long day. So I'm making a huge smoothie. And this is my favorite smoothie. So I'm going to make it with you guys here in my blender. So let's go. So the first thing I start with is greens. And what I do is I buy a gigantic thing of greens at Costco and then I put it right in the freezer so that it's always there and ready. This is my favorite, the Power, Power Greens. It's got um, chard, kale, and spinach. So here we go. Next thing I always do is bananas. And these are just frozen bananas that I keep in the freezer all the time. And then another frozen fruit. This is a tropical blend, it's got mango, watermelon, or not watermelon, mango, pineapple, and strawberry, and I love it. And I really love just using frozen mango, but I, that tropical blend is delicious, so that's really easy. So, so far, we've got a ton of greens, a banana and a half, and a cup of fruit. So, it's getting to be a pretty hefty smoothie. Then, lemon, at least the juice of half a lemon, but if it's not a very juicy lemon, then I'll do even more. Then ginger, a huge nub of ginger, like a um, thumb knuckle size, I'd say. Then, a big hefty portion of almond butter. It adds so much like staying power into this smoothie, makes it really filling, and also it adds this like savory, um, delicious so that it's not too fruity. So I had like a gigantic spoonful. All right guys, mm. here's my favorite smoothie ever. So what I'm gonna do now is just fill it probably up to like the two cup mark with some water from the fridge and then we'll blend it up. All right, now I have my gigantic Hydro Flask. This is um, 32 ounce Hydro Flask. And I find that it keeps my smoothie cold all day, which is imperative. And so we're just gonna pour it in here. This is like the easiest smoothie to make ever. It's full of incredible vitamins, healthy fats, protein. It'll keep you full for a long time. 
it's my go-to, so I highly recommend, let's try it. Mm, it's so refreshing, it has like a zing. It has a zing from the ginger, it's just super delish. So I'm gonna take you with me while I pack up the rest of my stuff. I have my smoothie with me. And it's just about time for work. Hi, it's Saturday night and we are walking to dinner. And we're gonna go try a new place on- a Vegan place. A vegan place. The menu looks so really delicious. Good. Really, really good. Yeah, it looks really good. It's on Lex and 79. And so it's a beautiful night. It's like kind of chilly and very pretty. Yeah, so we're gonna walk there. I'm wearing my new leather jacket. Can I show my jacket? Oh, yeah, new leather jacket. Yeah, new leather jacket that I really like. I got it from Anthropology. I'm wearing my old shirt. Kyle, very fashionable. <laughs> and yeah, it's a gorgeous night. I think we're gonna have fun. <laughs> walking home with Finn. We've been on such a nice walk and um, my like absolute favorite place to walk is down Madison, or I guess up Madison, and then to look at like window shop at all the fancy designer stores, like my favorite thing ever. So anyways, um, we are just walking home. Last night Kyle and I went to dinner and it's actually super disappointing. Like the menu looked amazing and I thought we ordered well and it was not good at all. Like I think that vegan food can be like way, 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 way better. Um, and it, like I could have made something way better than what we had last night. So, um, so I was really disappointed about that. But anyways, we are home. And so I just wanted to check in. Hi you guys. So I'm just walking home from the um, Women in Ophthalmology meeting, the New York City chapter. It's the annual Women in Ophthalmology meeting and it's like almost 10 o'clock at night, which is so late for me. And I'm walking home. It was actually so great. The lectures were wonderful and um, there was a really nice dinner. There was a lot of good people from Cornell there, some of the ladies and uh, we just had a great time. I think these events are so important to attend if you're a resident or a medical student or even a fellow, you should make the effort to attend these events because it's really good for networking, makes you feel closer and excited to work with other people um, and it's very helpful to connect with other women leaders who are doing awesome things and can become like mentors or sponsors for you. It, it's all really good, so I'll tell you more about it later. I'm going to bed. Tell me I'm